Always believe in yourself and always stretch yourself beyond your limits. Your life is worth a lot more than you think. Because you're capable of accomplishing more than you know. You have more potential than you think. But you will never know your full potential unless you keep challenging yourself and pushing beyond your own self-imposed limits. Hello my loves and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Chinese Kiki. If you're also a returning subscriber or you've just discovered me, welcome back. So today I am just going to do a Q&A video because I realized it's a long time since I did that. And yes, the view is amazing today because the weather, the weather. We have been blessed with this beautiful weather. It looks so beautiful. I enjoy hearing the birds singing and ooh, the ambience. I love this. I really really love this I asked my fans on Instagram to ask me a few questions that I can particularly answer on YouTube and yes today is that day so I will be jumping straight into your questions the first question that I got is how to know your true friends honestly I feel it's not so hard to know who your true friends are people don't tell you who they are they show you who they are and I think that should help you um, another question is today you're beautiful and consistent it's beautiful thank you so much I have to mention that it has not been easy for me to be where I am right now I'm taking every little step and just not taking it for granted and I feel like I'm growing as a person I'm also learning each and every single day and I'm really happy to have a platform that I've created together with you also this is to the celebration of happy 100k followers on Instagram yes oh, <laughs> yeah <laughs> so first there was a plane and now we have a train outside I mean doing a video outside is not easy <laughs> Oh my god guys, I never realized how difficult and how hard it is to do a video outside. Like the first there was a plane and then now we also have a train on the background. But anyway, we move. <laughs> so yeah, we are also celebrating 100k followers on Instagram. That's a very huge milestone. And thank you so much for being part of this journey. We move on to the third question. Your journey as a wife, how has it been for you? How do you tackle your flaws with Dimitri? <laughs> So I would say first I'm enjoying the journey of marriage and every day you learn, every day you make mistakes, every day you learn from them, you improve and yes I would say at the end of the day marriage is not for the faint hearted ones, you just have to be ready and you have to uh, love someone with your whole heart because you have to stick with that person through thick and thin and also you have to be there when you're also celebrating the beautiful journey of life and you know that's just marriage I don't know how else I can explain for you and also you have to realize like whatever happens with me on my marriage is also not what's going to happen on your marriage so it's totally different for every single person I will go on to the next question which is saying um, hi Kiki is it easier to get a USA visa if I have casual jobs I think you have to f do research for yourself before you go there because I really don't know so much about America but at least I can share something about Europe another one is hi Kiki tell us your experience the first time in Germany the habits you had to change etc first of all people keep time also people um, have to call for appointments before they show up everywhere you also need to learn the art of honesty people are really honest here it's not like where I come from and another thing that I also learned is to be self-sufficient because you really need that when you're here and so many more you can also go and check my YouTube video I have a video about my life in Germany and in Belgium so you can go check out that video and I can also answer some of the questions also in future if they're really straight on to the point another question is 
uh, do you ever plan to get your house in Kenya or in Paris I don't know why I would get a house in Paris because I really don't live in Paris we live in Belgium and for sure right now we really want to focus on our life in Belgium and this is where we have our family at the moment so our focus right now is a hundred percent in Belgium someone is asking do you ever plan to get kids yes of course I do and in the future I will just do it when I feel it's the right time for me because as I mentioned again having a child is a responsibility and you really have to be prepared for that you know someone is also asking uh, how long did it take you to get out of Kenya and like at what age when I first left Kenya I was between the age of 22 and 23 years old because but myself I really wanted to improve my life and I was really happy I did that at such a young age and I have to tell you it doesn't matter whether you're 30 you're 40 you're 50 you're 60 years old you're 19 you're 20 years old you just have to do what you have to do because dreams are valid nothing in this world that is out of reach for you just do you and plan your life plan your future and just everything will fall into place at the right time someone is asking how much did your teeth cost I want to start plan doing mine um, if you've watched my video uh, when I went to Turkey to fix my teeth you can really go there and I've put the phone number uh, the whatsapp number where you can contact directly the hospital I really can't tell you how much you will spend on your teeth because at the end of the day my dental problems are not your dental problems I had a lot of work done and I hope maybe I can do a video aside talking about my teeth alone it's been quite a journey for me it has taken me so many years so for me to first make this final decision it was not easy but you can just go and inquire and they will give you the amount of money that you really need to pay before you even plan your journey but would I recommend them 100% um, someone is asking um, uh, what are my names really <laughs> <laughs> someone else is asking where do you shop darling if you catch up with my old youtube videos you can find out that i love shopping at bella Burnett, i love shopping at asos i love shopping at h&m i love shopping at so many different places so i really don't have a particular place where i say like i really have to shop here no if i like something i get it so you can just watch my videos and i always put the link on the description box and the link will take you direct to where i got the items on instagram as well Someone is saying, um, how long did you date uh, your husband, sweetheart? I think it was more than a year before we got married and yes, at that time I used to live in Germany. Wait, 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 before I proceed, have you subscribed to my channel yet? Because honey, you need to get to know me better and at this point you should have subscribed, liked this video already as I continue to answer your questions weight tips apart from the gym I think you really need to watch your food portion and also what works for me is I eat only when I'm hungry so I don't just eat breakfast lunch dinner because it really has to be eaten so I just listen to my body it has worked for me for a couple of years now and I'm proud of myself another question is what's your Zen place or what keeps you Zen I think the weather the people the surrounding and just vibing with the right people it just me the zen vibe um what's your house decor style sometimes i love the modern farmhouse sometimes i also settle for a little bit of glam but i'm kind of um not into the real real glam anymore so i think i'm just in between antiques and modern style so yeah i think that's where i'm at at the moment can I carry two suitcases when going with a visit visa? I think so, yes. <laughs> it just really, uh, it really depends with how many days you got your visa for. So let's say, for example, you got a visit visa for 10 days. Of course, carrying two suitcases is like, okay, it's not practical. So yeah, that would raise an alarm. So I think it really depends with case to case. What would you advise a person with OCD to take? Therapy or medication? I really don't know, sweetheart. I really wish I had an answer for that, but I really don't know. Hi, Kiki. What do you do when you've had a bad day? I just 
rest and uh, wait for a day or two and then I know if I really need to react because in the past I really used to react to every single jab or whatever that was thrown at me but as I'm growing I'm learning like if you have a bad day just let it be <laughs> and wait for a good one at the end of the day it's not going to last forever and we all have bad days like nobody has good days from January to December literally nobody mine is to thank you for the for your platform I have learned so many tips <laughs> so now I'm waiting to like move on in life Oh, congratulations sweetheart what's your biggest regret in life especially on your younger self things you things you regret doing huh honestly I don't regret doing anything I don't regret meeting people I just take them as lessons you know we all learn from that living in Germany or the USA which one would you like um, in my case, I really don't know if I would be okay with America or Germany. I really don't know. But I feel uh, if you're in America, you have a lot of opportunities to grow. Um, if you're also older, it will it will take you not such a it will not take you such a long time for you to improve your life or to move from one step to the other. While living in Germany, first you really need to learn the language. You really have to fit into the system and we because we come from kenya so because we know english i feel like moving to america would be better but also on the other case germany has its advantages it's not just germany like the whole entire eu so i really don't know myself <laughs> i don't know how the marriage process if you got married in kenya would it be legal in norway yes of course yes of course you just have to re register your marriage no matter where you guys got married um Talk about transitioning into a non-English speaking country and learning the language. I have to say that has been one of my biggest challenges and I feel like it has also been like a life setback because you really lose a lot of years trying to learn the language, fitting into the system and I can say right now it's totally worth it but you just have to be prepared for it. We just have so many differences and yeah be prepared for culture shocks. Oh those are real, really yeah. How was your first visa interview? Mine was smooth. I got my visa the same day and I'm happy for that. So another question is how long did it take you to learn Dutch? Honestly, in my case, it didn't take me a long time to learn it because I did it during Corona and I did up to the level um, A2 and I did the examination. So I think that took me a couple of months. It took me a couple of months, no? Was it two, four months or what? something like that i really don't remember a few months yeah it took me a few months it was also during the lockdown season so i really can't remember very well because i also did some of my classes online um i love you kiki you're such an inspiration to many thank you so much and i love you back sweetheart so my loves i hope this video helps you to get to know me better and also understand where i come from what i think about certain situations and thank you so much for also participating in that and i hope to see you on the next video and i love you so much so in the meantime let me enjoy the weather have my croissant and my drink i think i even have another drink here <laughs> i have frappuccino it's time to have frappuccino actually this is finished i only have ice cream in here so see you on the next video my lives and don't forget to subscribe hit the notifications bell and share video with your friends as well love you
Sweet waiting on his truth is what I get.